Hi everyone, it's Abby. Today I'm going to show you the final reveal of my Ever After Danielle dress. I have a quick tutorial on how I put my hair up in this nude as well. So why don't we take a look? I start by separating out a section at the bottom of my head. I put up the rest of my hair out of the way. I separate that section into two and braid both sections up, securing with elastic. With the braids done, I let my hair back down. Now I wrap each braid around my head and bobby pin in place. I bobby pin the braids in a few spots to keep them in place. I add an elastic two thirds down my hair and secure with the tail up into the elastic so there's a place to pin. I flip that part up under my hair and use four pins to attach it to the underside of my hair. This gives my long hair a fake bob. I find the center of my snood and I shimmy it onto my hair in the back. I find the center and place a pin there, securing it to the braids in the back. I also secure it in a few other spots. I check to make sure all my hair is in. I tie the ties under my head and I tuck the ends into the snood. It's not perfect, but it mostly stays in. One of the pieces escapes during my shoot, but what can you do? I add the headband and there we go! Ballet dancers actually use invisible hairnets to keep their buns in place. Vintage hairstyles use this trick as well. Next time I may get a hairnet to keep the wispies in. My name is Danielle de Barbarac and I am but a servant. A bird may love a fish, signore, but where would they live? Yards of fabric and I still feel naked. I am just a servant in a nice dress. The shoes are too big. Nobody will be looking at your feet. Forgive me, Your Highness, I did not see you. I fear the only name to leave you with is Comtesse Nicole de Lancre.
I am sorry. My mouth has run away with me again. Just breathe. I am picking wildflowers. and we shall continue on foot. Thank you for joining me today as we took a look at my completed Ever After Princess dress. It has been quite a journey finishing this dress, and I really love it. I didn't mention it in my last video, but I found that I couldn't get the stays to not show, so I tried without, and because of the high waist and the fitted bodices, it actually keeps me all in place just fine without the stays. I have quite a few fun projects coming up, so stay tuned for more. If you liked this video and want to see more costume and sewing videos, remember to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Happy sewing! Hello, peoples! I am here! I am a puppy! She is the puppiest of puppies! <coughs>